We want to wish everybody a wonderful Shabbat. This parsha is Parshat Noach, the parsha of my bar mitzvah, and um, today I wanted to talk about the great aspect, attribute of being relaxed, a sen- having a sense of tra- tranquility. At the end of last week's parsha, Bereshit, the Torah tells us, "The Noach matzachen bene Adonai." A very special and important passage that we say for good luck. We write that Noah found favor in the eyes of Hashem. The Zohar, the holy book of Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai, Jewish mysticism says, why? So the Zohar says, the Charedim, Rab Elazar Askari also brings it, Ate Zohar Kodesh we know that the reason why Noah found favor in the eyes of God and was saved, only one family amongst all the families of the world, is because Noah was an easygoing, relaxed, and tranquil person. And in today's society, where we have so much havoc and hectic schedules and people are so anxious and there's so much anxiety and stress it's a very important attribute we need to work on and that is to realize that we're all in the hands of God we cannot become hysterical lose faith and become God forbid self-destructive because we think the world is coming to an end. Noah had every reason to be depressed and give up on humanity. But Noah had this wonderful attribute of being easygoing, at peace with himself because he knows that there's a creator up there that sees everything, knows everything. And therefore... Under all circumstances, he was Noah. He was at peace. He was tranquil. He had a sense of tranquility. That's why God loved him and and he found favor in in God's eyes and ultimately why he's the savior of his entire family. And this idea of being at peace with oneself and letting go of stress is so important that there's one day in the week that's devoted to this, Shabbat. And tonight is the yard site of our great master, Harav Avadi Yosef, the really, the person that brought back the crown of Torah to Sephardic Judaism. And I was in his presence a few times. And truly any spiritual and great rabbi, Kabbalist, person of God, you always see this attribute that they are at peace with themselves. They're not excited. They're not... They're not nervous. They have a sense of menucha, tranquility, because their faith and trust in God knows that the world has a supervisor. And really, Shabbat is the day of Noah. Shabbat is the day of tranquility where we take a back seat and realize that God is our creator and he runs the world. The greatest tribe of Torah is Yisachar, Vayar Menucha Kitov. Again, we see that when Jacob wants to praise his most wisest and scholastic son, Yisachar, he says that Vayar Menucha Kitov. All of the greatest heads of the Jewish Supreme Court from the tribe of Yisachar and they are praised by their father as a tribe of peace and tranquility. And guess what? The Torah refers to Jerusalem and our holy temple as the place of menucha. Ki lo ba'atem el ha-menucha nachala The Torah tells us in Vat Hanan that the Torah is the Jerusalem. May God bring peace upon it because when we're in the house of God, There's no reason to become hysterical or nervous. We know that there's nothing but Him. And may Hashem truly bring peace to Jerusalem. Let's pray for Jerusalem. 
and let, with the coming of Mashiach go back to this the place where it, the ultimate tranquility and peace could be experienced. Amen.